Hello and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. It's another viewer request and another delicious meal. I'm making chili verde for Rivet Gardener who wanted to see me make chili. Any chili! Let's see what we're gonna need. Chili verde, if you can't tell by the name, means green chili, so we're not using any red tomatoes. Instead, we're using tomatillos, which are part of the nightshade family, just like our red tomatoes and our peppers. I'm removing the papery husks from these tomatillos, then they're getting rinsed well and sliced in half. Then the tomatillos, our jalapenos, and about five cloves of unpeeled garlic are going on this baking sheet and going under the broiler for about 10 minutes. I've also got three fire roasted poblanos and a bunch of parsley that I've removed the stems on. Now, of course you could use cilantro, but we don't care for that flavor. All of this is going in the blender to become our liquid base. I have my Dutch oven on over medium high heat. Now because this pork is fairly lean, we're gonna start with about two tablespoons of canola oil. And we're frying this in batches. to add about another tablespoon or so of oil to this. It's pretty dry. And next in go the onions and about two minutes later the garlic. We're adding in the garlic. I'm only gonna let this cook for about a minute or so. I don't want it to burn. All right, we're gonna add all this pork back in. our green sauce. I've added a little bit of chicken broth here so I can make sure to get all of this out. And then we're gonna add just enough chicken broth to cover all of this. We're gonna let this simmer for two to three hours, probably closer to three hours. So we wanna make sure we have enough liquid. And we're adding just a pinch of cloves, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a gentle simmer. Then we'll check it at about the two hour mark to see if our pork is tender. If it's not completely tender, we'll let it go for another hour. This has been simmering for about two hours and 45 minutes. Let's check the pork here. Yes, that's nice and tender. All right, let's get this plated and tasted. Thanks to Rivet Gardener for requesting this recipe. I'm serving it with an ice cold cerveza and flatbreads. Let's give this a taste. Oh, the pork is so tender. Mm. Not too spicy, perfect. Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. 
If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.